Hi, I'm Mindy. Today we're going to cook a turkey. We're going to cook it a little different. We're going to cook it medieval style. I think this ought to be fun and interesting. Let's get started. Now, they used a lot of spices back then, and a lot of them we use today. So first you need to get a fresh turkey. I like to buy not frozen because I think you lose some of the flavor in that. So organic, fresh, hormone-free turkey like we have right here. Then you just gather the spices. These will be things you might have to get or you might have them in your cabinet. The first spice that we're going to use is turmeric. And turmeric is great on everything. It has a great, great flavor. Now, in the medieval times, they used to use lard or butter. I prefer to cook more healthy. And in the very elite circle, they did have olive oil. And that's what we're going to use today. So first, take your olive oil and brush your turkey with the olive oil. This is going to give it a really nice golden brown color and it's also going to seep down in there and you'll get the flavor of the olive oil. I like to take the olive oil and put some down inside the turkey. You can just pull that skin back and you can get that stuff down in there really good. All right. Now, they used a lot of spices. Today, I'm going to put some ginger. I love fresh ginger. We know that ginger does help with your digestion and they knew that as well. They used black pepper, they used saffron, they used Mediterranean sea salt, which I love to use. They used coriander, cumin, and cardamom. Those are a little bit not as common, especially the cardamom, but they give the turkey such an excellent flavor. And all of their spices were natural and organic. The last spice that I'm going to put on here is turmeric. I love turmeric. It has definitely been proven to be very, very good for you. I love to put the spices on the inside too. And some of these I have mixed up already together. So we're just going to add some spices, put them inside, and shove them down in there. Make it really moist and tender. And when you cut into the breast, you will have some of the spices inside and outside. Then you just dribble a little of this olive oil on the outside, blends all the spices together. And basically, we're done. We're going to put it in the oven. It is one of the easiest meals you can make. It's fast, delicious, and feeds a large group of people. All right, we're going to take our bird now, and let's pop it in the oven. We're going to put it in the oven at 350 for about three hours. All right. Let's check the turkey and see if it's done. Well, it looks like it turned out perfect. Well, our turkey turned out beautiful. Let's carve it. All right, you ready? Let's go. Hi, I'm Mindy. Today, we're going to carve a turkey. Remember the medieval turkey that we made? Look how fabulous it looks with all those seasonings. Now we're going to carve the turkey. Now there's an art to carving any bird and a turkey is one of the largest birds. So get your sleeves pulled up and let's get ready. One of the first things you want to carve on the turkey would be the legs and the wings. Let's start with this wing. You just put the knife straight through. So you cut the wing off. That comes off nicely and that's a great piece. Um, then you're going to go for the leg and you cut the leg and we just about got the leg oh that's great the breast is the leanest and it's all white so you'll have a lot of people that will want the breast but good thing this is a large turkey now that is a beautiful piece of meat right there and then you just progress on the other side exactly the same and we're gonna cut the rest of it this should be enough meat for about eight people. So in the medieval times, if they didn't have utensils, they would just use their hands and you could still start with that and grab the wing off and just put it on there. And then you could go to the leg and do the same thing. The breast is so tender, you can just break off small pieces and just make that like finger food. So on the leg, you really have to put some muscle into it. So just break that like that. And then just yank on the leg <laughs> and there you have it 
It's very medieval. -y. Let's try our turkey and see how it tastes. Mmm, delicious. Well, that's our show. I hope you had fun learning to cook and carve a turkey medieval style. Bye, see you next time.